In the past, refugees in camps were often associated with the destruction of the environment. And with Shirkoli, UNHCR wanted to change that perception. The widely held belief that refugees are about destruction of the environment uh, is being dispelled in this camp because of the harmonious relationship between the refugees and the locals. And all our environmental intervention and awareness measures involve both communities. A main focus is wood conservation. When a refugee camp is set up, the surrounding area can easily become deforested. Refugees need wood to build their homes and for fuel. The main aim was to teach the value of wood and how to conserve it. Fidus Endwimana leads the women's organization in the camp. Alors, quand les, les réfugiés euh, vont à la recherche des bois morts, euh, vraiment, nous, 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 nous essayons de, de les dire qu'il ne faut pas couper les, les arbres qui font ramasser justement les arbres morts. The refugees also use fuel-efficient stoves. These cookers significantly reduce wood consumption, so fewer trees are used, and women make the risky journey into the forest less frequently. The camp and surrounding villages also have a very active tree planting campaign. Over 349 hectares of trees have been planted here, or about 350,000 trees a year for the past four years. The trees are multi-purpose. Some are fruit trees, some are for building, and others are sold for cash. The locals are also involved. بتاعتي كثير فيه أنا طبعا عندي أولاد بقروا في المدارس كاد أبيع الحط أبدا أنا كاد يعني أسرب الأولاد في المدرسة. Refugees and locals have also learned to build homes without wood. In the past, trees were cut down, but now the refugees and the locals construct mud brick homes, which are sturdier and cooler in the summer. All of these projects required a change of lifelong habits. Part of the project's success is due to the youngest refugees who make up more than 50 percent of the camp population. When the food production becomes declined, what will happen? A famine or hunger? An environmental curriculum is taught in the refugee schools and those lessons are mainstreamed into everyday life. A youth group called Roots and Shoots systematically goes out to educate the community about conservation. Young people have very wide networks, they go to school, they interact among each other. So this wide network is used to, to spread the awareness on environmental matters. The group meets once a week and takes the lead on specific projects. Water conservation is one of their aims. Since the camp is located on the top of a hill, it meant that water needed to be managed. Check dams were built to help irrigate the many vegetable gardens. The project has become so successful and the harvest so rich, the local community handed over 49 more hectares of land to the refugees to grow more produce. Ali Unamoko is one of the refugee leaders in the camp. He says the projects will have a lasting effect. <laughs> Many of the refugees have already gone back home and eventually Shakoli camp will be shut down. The refugees will take home valuable conservation skills and new traditions to help them survive once they return. This camp will then be turned over to the local community, who will inherit a rich and plentiful parcel made more valuable by the refugees' stay here. <laughs>